uh, Ray Shalom. First and foremost, I'm about to give all praises and glory and honor to. In the uh, Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Baha Hashem, in the name of Hamashiach Kavashah. Those are their true names in the ancient belly of Hebrew, the Hashemar Kadash of the tongue. And I say, Barak the Bums, the uh, elders, or Hakim on Hakim, and I say, Shalom, out here on the uh, highways and heads, the cheapest concourse downtown Chicago on October the uh, 21st, on this uh, Monday noon. And the water you have, Hashem Yahashah, in the capital spot with the Holy Angels, and Barak the Bums, the uh, elders, or Hakim on Hakim, and I say, Shalom. And this is a book of Ecclesiastes, which is the book of Sorak, chapter 39, and verse 1. It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, which is the heavenly body of Howard, is not occupied in the meditation that world to seek out the wisdom of all ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Right, so we're going to continue to occupy in prophecy, just like we are here prophesying these great countries, these great themes of uh, war, evil, and pestilence. So I'm going to bring up some uh, latest news articles that pertain to the uh, you know, occupied in uh, prophecies. It says, uh, the IDF struck 3,200 has been targets since the start of the war. It says, the defense minister of Gallup, Hezbollah's bank, will be the player as a bad organization. This says, uh, explosions heard in the central Saran area of civilian safety. It says, the KDB emerged as leader as the party of the uh, Iraqi Kurdish. Of never married elections commissioner says it says Saudi to call an international community to hold Israel accountable for going up to Temple Temple Mount, right? Which they've been doing for many times against those uh, Ishmaelites over there in the area when they've been, uh, you know, when they've been, uh, not think they've been like uh, going to their service every time they go over there, you know, those Ishmaelites. And this is says the, the U.S. Defense Ministry announced another 400 arms for Ukraine. It says, uh, the idea, it says uh, the idea of intercepts five rockets from Lebanon. Right, because we've been seeing uh, rising tensions been heating up you know, between uh, the borders of uh, southern Lebanon, of uh, Hezbollah, versus the Israel Defense Force. And it says, uh, shackle struck as a dollar equivalent breach in uh, NIS 3.76. It says, uh, Turkish, Turkey performed the Catholic step and said he head of the dark organization. And this is another news article that says uh, the IDF strikes Hezbollah's launchers aimed at northern Israeli communities. That's on October 21st, 2024. I mean, October 21st, 2024. And uh, another news article says uh, Iran says it has warned the UN nuclear watchdog about the Israel threats against its nuclear sites. So I'm reading this news article. So that's another sign of uh, wars and rumors of wars. As we said, already Iran versus Israel has already been heating up ever since then. Yeah, it goes to the uh, news article. Salak so here. And this is a news article from October uh, 1st, 2040, raised by groups. It says uh, Iran says it has warned the UN nuclear watchdog about the Israeli threats against its nuclear sites. It says Iran has warned the UN nuclear watchdog, which they've been watching for quite a while, but you've been having Iran building up their uh, nuclear capability. Increasing the enrichments of Israel. Yeah. It says uh, Iran has warned the UN security watchdog about the Israeli threats against its nuclear sites. The foreign minister spokesperson, Ismail Benghazi, has said on Monday in his conference reports. And this is uh, and this is another news article and that goes into that uh, Isaiah 17 verse one. You know, Damascus is taking with the city that should be Israel. As we've been seeing, the rising tensions have been heating up over there in the borders of the mass in Syria. Which got the Syrian armies going against the Israel Defense Force coming across the continent. It's been heating up ever since then. It says, uh, this is a uh, news article from October 21st, 2024. Last update, October 21st, 2024, it reads Explosions heard in the Damascus, the Damascus area of one people. Explosions were heard in the Damascus area of the Damascus on Monday. The Syrian state media says, it says, Gordon said they were investigating an incident. Syrian state media member reported to a later state report at least one person has been killed in a guided missile attack on a car in a massive area of the masses. Right, this is Isaiah 17 verse 1. So bring us some more news articles. See, it says uh, the Israeli military says it intercepted five drones in the uh, Mediterranean Sea. 
right, which is uh, from the uh, Houthi rebels, which is the Iranian backed group over there in Yemen, and they're going against the uh, Israeli defense force. It says the, I, the Israeli military said it Monday that it had intercepted five drones in the Mediterranean Sea before they crossed into the country. Right, that's a sign of a uh, wars and wars and wars, nation against nation, king against king, and so on. Well, too. Uh, Says uh, Israeli arrest seven national suspected of spying for uh, Iran. It says, uh, this is uh, from CBS News from YouTube. It says, uh, worker New Mexico Ukraine falls off to death in the Right, that's the business case for the company. Like I said, uh, I'd say 29 or 6. It says in the future could strengthen the commercial voice of emerging economics of via bricks. Right, so uh, I believe the uh, bricks meeting is going to be this week coming up. And the uh, Russia, they're going to be involved in that as well, too. As we see in the uh, nations, uh, using a uh, new form of energy. I believe they're going to discuss it. Uh, to uh, the dominant self in America, the top of the Euro Conference World Two. It says, uh, on this uh, different news story. It says, Armenia detains Russian activists wanted by Moscow on a TPRRIMS shortage from Radio Free with reports. Yeah, it says uh, that the French will be at least two dead hunters rescue after several floods in New Mexico. Probably like the suburban areas of uh, New Mexico and they hit with those uh, which are so lovely so in the air. As we've been seeing uh, increasing historical floods around the world, just like I mentioned yesterday, over there in Italy and uh, France, they had those on last year. I believe that's all the way until like Tuesday, all the way until uh, tomorrow. That's just going to be again in effect, you know. So that's the visitation from the Heavenly Father. So, this is a, this is a news article from I Am Carol. This is what it said. It was more to me. It says, in South Korea, from Father North, and so the Russian G Ukraine war. This is a, It says, uh, Russia just sent its North Korean prisoners into the Ukraine for the assault reports from the uh, Bloomington, uh, Bloomington Hill uh, news article reports. It says, a uh, woman with three kids in a car runs over the man with him in the uh, North, North Dakota feds. That says, that's uh, from the uh, Rocky Hill Herald uh, news article. And that goes into uh, Matthews 24, verse 12. It says, uh, It says, uh, now this, this scripture goes into that uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 39 verse 30. Yeah, uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 39 verse 39 verse 30. It says, uh, a coyote bites a woman as he tries to pray her dog from his mouth. Washington officials that it says. Hey, shout out to that brother. Yeah, I would have been to the
It says, uh, exclusive news article. It says, workers can't count on Western sanctions. The utmost likely they can because they're going to end up going to the uh, American dollar. But you know, we're seeing some of the use of the American dollar is not being fully defended. So as we've been seeing, the nations are turning away from it. And we're seeing the nations are joining the uh, British nation, which formed ever since 2015. And this is a uh, news article from, uh, it says, the EU troops could be deployed to the Ukraine. A political as mentioned because so I believe it was a uh, it was a, uh, I believe uh, the UK and uh, Germany they had signed a uh, security pact deal to have uh, their uh, German soldiers and the the British soldiers to train near the borders of uh, the borders of uh, the, right along with the borders of uh, Russia so that's why we've been seeing the uh, escalations between the heating up between Russia and NATO so that's another sign of uh, wars and rumors of wars and then Matthew 24 verse 6 It says, Meva that wants to the war, right? That Joel Bear, verse 9, of the Heavenly Father's putting in war like mindset of these armies and nations. That's what we see. Before that, the Super Japanese still So, right now, I'm going to have a couple of scriptures. And this is a book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. It says, uh, You should hear for wars and rumors of war. See that you be not troubled for all these things. He must first come to pass. But yeah, he is not there. Right, we're going to see this uh, increasing of uh, wars, rumors of wars between the uh, uh, nations. I believe the estimations are increasing. It says, I'm um, sure here of wars and rumors of wars. We'll see that you be not sure with all these things. This first coming to pass. I'm going to say, man, Christ is going to come to pass. It's not going to be like This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 7. For nation shall rise as nation. Right, give it and this is the first rise in this kind of matter, especially for the people of uh, war like saying, For nation shall rise as nation and kingdom against kingdom. There should be famines and pests and earthquakes and diverse places. I saw increase in earthquakes and uh, diverse places. And the uh, increase in famines and pests and plagues and earthquakes and diverse places. And there's no station taking this people. So these are increasing biblical signs from the signs of time. And the problem shows this. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 8. All these are beginning to solve. Right, so all this has been increasing and beginning to solve. A biblical sign from the signs of time. And the problem shows this in the last days. It says Israel has to uh, response to marketing of arms and export ban. This is uh, yeah, this is, uh, Isaiah 29 verse 6 once again. This is uh, October 21st, 2044 degrees. Hurricane hits a few of the many mass blackouts. It says the eyes of the world are just as wide after a collapse of its largest power. It says Hurricane Oscar started into Cuba on Sunday. Heavy rains and strong rains. As a country, 10 million people were already grappled with a ma uh, massive power outage. It says the storm uh, struck shortly after the collapse of the island's large power plant on Friday, which crippled the nation's grid and resulted in uh, an almost a countrywide blackout, according to the reports of Oscar classified as a category 1 hurricane. It says uh, maximum sustained winds nearly 80% more than 130 kilometers. It says made landfalls in the uh, eastern province of Guatemala, the city of Morocco, only Morocco, Pro if I pronounced that right. It says by late Sunday, the hurricane has weakened when they travel to storm the city miles per hour. The U.S. National Hurricane Center says adding that the storm could cause significant flash floods and mudslides in eastern areas. It says the hurricane arrival comes as Cuba tries to recover from the worst blackouts in two years, which left millions without power for days. Last week, electrical service was particularly restored on Sunday before the quarterly collapsed again. Right, so that's the visitation from the heavenly Father, like it says in Isaiah 29, verse 6. It's not about to bring that up. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. It says, uh, Thou shalt be visit of the hour of hosts with thunder, with earthquake, and great noise and storms, and tempest and flame, cry fire. Right, that's the visitation from the heavenly Father. And so, this is uh, the prophet Isaiah 28, verse 2. It says, Behold, see it, how will thou? It says, Behold, see it. It says, Behold, uh, Yahweh has a mighty and strong one, which a uh, tempest as a hell and, and a strong storm as a flood, as a flood, as a mighty waters, and overflowing shall cast down as to the earth with a hand. Right, so that's a visitation from the uh, heavenly Father. And this is a book of 
second inch, shot from the end verse 2. It says, uh, Then thou shalt understand, it is a very same time, for in the highest we begin to visit the world which you made. The cross of the heavenly laws, the whole scene is begin to visit the world which you made. You know, with these uh, tornadoes, and these uh, and these uh, maps and pests and plagues, and these high access to the second edge of chapter 9, verse 2. Therefore, when here shall be seen earthquakes, of course, people world. Why so increasing earthquakes, of course, people world. We'll be seeing more and more of these things. But we definitely going to see an increasing uh, visitation from the heavenly law, and the uh, power of the and it's uh, second Andrew chapter 15, verse 5. It says, uh, Behold, we say, if you have that will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, and destruction, right? That's the heavenly laws, and we're bringing more and more these highest things. With the uh, increasing of the visitation from them. So, those was the latest in this article that I just wanted to bring out. So, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, bring out the scriptures. So, as we uh, prophesy in these great countries and great kingdoms, uh, for evil and pestilence and occupying prophecies, so it's going to teach us not good. Hey, shout out to that brother Yahweh man on the prophecy of sin, Judge Becoming 20. And this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. It says that the prophecy of Ham before thee, and before the afford prophesy of hope against many countries and world kingdoms, of world people and peasants. So we are out there prophesying against world countries and world kingdoms, of world people and peasants. So these are uh, world people and peasants, it's only going to continue to increase. That's what I'm talking about, those uh, latest news and news that pertains to the uh, wars, you know, the increase in evils and the increase in pestilence as well, too, that goes on while they're going on with them. This is uh, Jeremiah 28, verse 9. The prophet was prophesied of peace, and the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Then shall the prophet be known that he how shall be sick. Um, and this is uh, Jeremiah chapter. So uh, Jeremiah 51 verse 26. It says, uh, Leash your heart, thank you, fear for the world that shall hurt on them. And a woman should come with one year, and after that, another year should come a woman, wise and man, ruling this group. Why so wise and man, ruling this group? That's what we said, these are modern attacks, just like the age attacks. So, Scripture says, you know, that's not the thing. So, and this is a prophet of Jeroel, chapter 3, verse 3. It says, uh, for the gold that they just come, see if an hour, that I won't bring again, and see if you didn't do this one, that's this one. It's uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 2. It says, Now we gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Moses, and which I was brought on one stage. It says, Now we believe that for my people and for my inheritance in Israel, whom they had scattered among the nations, and part of my land, for I part of the promised land. But it says, Now Luke 20, verse 4, uh, Jerusalem should be tried down to the Gentile and fulfilled as we can see. Joel chapter 3, verse 3. It says, They had cast lots upon my people. They have given forth a heart and so the earth and they may drink. Right, the musket of one against the children of Israel. Joel chapter 10, verse 4. Ye, but having to do with me, O Tigers, like the coast of Hamites and the coast of Palestine and the Israelites. It says, Will you recognize, it says, Will you recognize me in recompense? And if you recognize me swiftly and speedily, and I will turn your recompense upon you. Yeah. For I said, Recompense upon your own head when they did to the children of Israel. Mentally, spiritually, financially, still to this day. But the scripture says, uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 43, the stranger that is within thee should get above thee very high, so the stranger is with the other nations. And thou shalt come down very low, as we receive. And I believe it was a, uh, I had checked on my news feed on my phone. I believe it was from uh, BBC News over there in the UK. You had this uh, Jake, who got uh, killed by a police officer. I don't know if he was an Edomite or Jake. Most likely, he might have been Edomite. Because, you know, they're going to look at it as like, uh, you know, it's uh, self defense, it's uh, justified, and stuff like that. You know? The scripture says in uh, Zechariah 11, verse 5, who was successful to slay the poor who says not gifted as Esau even gets his uh, brother Jacob. You know, whatever uh, Jacob scattered up over there in the UK, over here in America, you know, we uh, we still get that Zechariah 11, verse 5. You know? So whatever we scattered at, you know, we're going to have, you know, we're going to have uh, enemies that don't like us like that. But of course, we are enemies within ourselves. We understand that. But, you know, these uh, other nations, they still got that, uh, especially Esau, Edom, towards his uh, brother Jacob, still got the perpetual hatred towards the children of Israel. Even if it's justified or unjustified, you know, he still got that perpetual hatred towards the children of Israel still to this day. Even if it's justified or unjustified. And that goes to that Ezekiel, the uh, 35th chapter. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 5. Because you have taken my silver and my gold and carried them into your temple, my good depressed things, where I put on Israelites and heavy box people. Joel chapter 3 verse 6. It says, The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have been sold unto the Grecians that you might remove them far from their border. Right, because we've been removed far from our borders still to this day. And that's why we speak these different languages and these different customs and different cultures that we're following. Even though we're waking back up to who we actually really are, 
that's that's documented that actually happened that had happened to the actual real history. Because you know? we must discontinue from our heritage, like it says in Jeremiah 17, verse 4, because the nations had inspired with one sin, that the name of Israel be no more remembered. Joel shall declare what sins the children also the Jew, and the children of Jerusalem. Have you sold unto the Christians, that you might remove them far from their border? Joel chapter 10, verse 7. This is a poor and crazy about the place where you had to sow them from the time to turn this point of the head. I said, I'm very pissed off. I'm going to keep on them again. Just like in the Rocky Road, we'll see them in the court of faith. This is a Joel chapter 10, verse 8. They say it's not so good, so it's a good to lost into the hands of the children of Judah. They shall set them to the spirit to the people of the Lord. So he's like, he don't like to be able to choose his own. So it's the uh, Israelites. The uh, small average men, women, and children of the Israelites as well. So it says, and I'm still your sons and your brothers into the hands of the children of Judah. They shall set them to the spirit so the people fall off and how it has spoken. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare the war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Right, that's what's saying over there in Western Asia. Quote unquote, the so called Middle East, which is up Western Asia. That's why we said the Heavenly Father's uh, put them war like mindset. He's uh, waking up the mighty men of his organizations over there in uh, Western Asia. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 10. It says, uh, Beach of Wild Sheds with swords and holy books in the spirit. And let the weak say strong. Let the weak say strong. Because these are arms and nations. Joel chapter 3, verse 11. It says, uh, Assemble yourselves, don't want to eat. What's the arms of other nations? And God here says, Together round about this, so long as my body wants to come down on your house. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 12. Let the heathen be awakened and come up against the Mount Jehoshaphat, which is your house, your But there I will sit and judge all the heathen round about this, the arms of the other nations. Joel chapter 3, verse 12. I mean, verse 13, so like, it says, uh, Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest of the river, coming to you down, press it forward. And the fast of the folk that would be spiritual. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 14. It says, Multitudes and multitudes in the fast of sin, but they have the house of the sin. For I said, They have the house of the sin. This is Joel chapter 15. It says, The sun and the moon should be known. The stars shall go out of the ocean. Joel chapter 3, verse 16. The power of the power also shall go out of Zion. And under his voice from the roof. Heavens and earth shall shake, but how will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel? Rock the river Israelites. Joel chapter 3 verse 17. It says, So shall you know that I am the power of the power of the Messiah, who is my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be hope, and the strength shall pass away from forth. Joel 3 verse 18. It shall come to pass in the day that the mountain shall drop down to new wine, and the hills shall float in the middle, and all the rivers of Judah shall float with waters, and the mountain shall come forth out of the house of the power, shall water about the city. This is a prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 19, it reads, Egypt shall be a desolation, and Eden shall be a desolate wilderness, but a bias against the children of Judah, because they had sins of Egypt, but they led. Right, that's why I'm talking about that Zechariah, number verse 5. Just like that uh, Judite, you know, got killed by the Edomite, but it's all that he had and got off over there in the UK. They who possessed the slave of the so to forgive him as he saw Eden to his uh, brother Jacob. It's that Edom, it's that Egypt shall be a desolation, Edom shall be a desolation, shall be a desolation wilderness. Bodies against the children of Judah, Christ the sixth day, because they had sinned in the third day. Joel chapter 3, verse 20. It says, But Judah should dwell forever in Jerusalem for generations and generations. Right, because uh, Jerusalem is a people who calls a place to represent Jerusalem. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 21. For I will cleanse that blood that happens to cleanse, but how will I power dwell in desire? Christ the heavenly father be dwell in desire. Just say, I am in the children of Israel, the word of Israel. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I am in the house of your power, and nothing else I can shall not be ashamed. Right, so we're not going to be ashamed of sight and body power. And we are this we are this people. Like it says in Isaiah, the next chapter, we are these people that are still before the brain of the people of the Israelites. So let me go ahead and switch up the topic and get into that Jeremiah, the fifth verse chapter. You know, as we can take the CDI now, fall the love of the Lord. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. It says, uh, Babylon, it says, Thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon, and against them that dwell uh, in the midst of them that raise up against me a strong wind. This is uh, the prophet Jeremiah 51, verse 2. It says, And I will send unto Babylon, and Spanish, that shall banish her into your land. But the day of trouble shall be against her round about. Jeremiah 51, verse 3. And against them that men of the archment is bold, by those arrows of missiles. And against them that lift this up up in his pride. Spare ye not, O young men, swear ye on all the hosts. 
this is a prophet Jeremiah making one verse four. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are first born verse three. Uh, Jeremiah 51 verse 5, but Israel has not been forsaken nor Judah of his power or Yahweh of hosts, though their land is filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Jeremiah 51 verse 6, flee out from midst of Babylon and deliver every man's soul. Be not cut off for her iniquity. But this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her and refuge from Babylon the great. Jeremiah 51 verse 7, Babylon has been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand for our distance day. That made all the earth run. This is a the tower of Babylon. Spiritually, this is a mockery of Babylon. The nations have joked for one of the things they Therefore, this is therefore the nations are man. Right, so therefore, the nations are uh, man. There is nothing against mockery of Babylon. The world of Babylon. Jeremiah 51, verse 8. It says, uh, Babylon is something called destroyed. And I'm aware of taking on the word man. This is a man who's being healed. So that's what this is going to be about. Jeremiah 51, verse 9. It says, We could have healed Babylon, but she is not here. A second word, let us go if he wants his own nation. This has for her judgment to be to heaven, so it's in disguise. But they are just the Babylon that has been to heaven, so it's going to be to disguise. And this is Revelations 18, verse 1. It says, Now these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power and a purpose like this glory. Revelations 18, verse 2. And he cried, My name is Jerome, for saying, Babylon, great as fault, as fault. It's become an habitation of deceivers, and it holds every foul spirit, and it pays for every unclean HAT, every good word. Right, so that's what Babylon promotes, even some wickedness and much greed still to today. Uh, Revelation 18, verse 3. It says, uh, For all the nations have drunk the wine and the right for the fornication, right still to this day. It says, The kings of the earth who had committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed richly upon silver and heaven, right still to this day. Revelation 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice in heaven saying, Come out of my people. As you be not protected with sins, proceed under the plagues. Right, so as the Israelites, we gotta come out of the ways of Babylon. Because it only promotes evilness and wickedness and much grief. We gotta come out of the ways of it. And coming back to the ways of the Father through his own righteousness. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of my people. As you be not protected with sins, proceed under the plagues. Revelation 18, verse 5. For her sins have reached to heaven, so even how it has driven her iniquities. Right, but the sins of Babylon has reached to heaven, so even how it has driven her iniquities. Yeah, I've got to read you at this point. Revelation 18, verse 6. It says, A war bird, even as she bore you, double, unto her double. According to her works, and the cup which she had filled, unto her double. Yeah, you were just telling me this is the honor of her. It says, A war she had glorified herself, but it was so much so much sorrow. Give her, because she had sinned in her heart, and the queen of her sin was sorrow. Revelation 18, verse 8. Therefore, shall her plagues come one day, and death one be found. She shall be utterly thrown from fire, and how will I power to judge her? Revelation 18, verse 10. Yeah, Revelation 18, verse 9. It says, uh, And the kings of her who had committed one case with her, and the distance shall be wherever, and the limit for her, and they shall see the sea of the earth, and the right mountain on the grave. Revelation 18, verse 10. It says, Standing up all offering a fearful torment, saying, At last, at last, that great city of Babylon. That my city, but in one hour, that's just come. Right, but in one hour, that's just come. Uh, modern day Babylon 3. This is a uh, book of Psalms 147, verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, who are spiritually in the heaven, should be beat. This is that for thee, thou hast servants. Uh, yeah, but I'll uh, switch up the top. This is uh, Revelation 13, verse 16. It says, uh, and because of all most small and great virtue will be free upon them, is perceived a Korak in their right hand or in their middle of the army, and TBS. Right, so in order to buy and sell, you have that Korak. The all white DC CHIP in order to buy and sell, this is what they're pushing for. This is going to be the only major prophecy. This is uh, a major prophecy coming past the faith. Revelation 13, verse 17. It says, and they will be able to buy and sell. See that he has the money for the for the day when we get a seed for their house. Revelation 13, verse 18. Let him have him stay. Have the number of the PPA and C players that have come in. This number is less than HP, but it's almost four percent. Yeah, this is uh, Revelation 14, verse 18. This is uh, if they're called another name, I'm saying Babylon's fault is fault for their city, Babylon, because you may have fallen in the nation of Jericho, and you're not going to have a patient on the state. Revelation 14, verse 9. It says, The third angel called him, saying, Come to the voice of the enemy and worship the PTA that sees his image. Receive the love of the rock and his F O R E H E V on his head. Revelation 14, verse 10. The second show drink the wine that I feel out. It was poor without picture. Then he puts his indignation. He shall be torn with the fire, burnt stone in the presence of the Holy Angel in the presence of the Lord. Uh, 
uh, Revelations 14, verse 11. It says, and it spoke of the atonement of sin of heaven and ever. They have no rest to worship with me, he has seen this image. Whosoever received the Quran in his name, uh, you can see that in Revelations 3, verse 10. And this is uh, Revelations 3, verse 10. It reads, it says, because thou hast kept the, uh, it says, because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I will also keep thee from the application, which shall come upon all the world and try to get what upon the earth. Right, so as long as you yeah, keep the words of patience, I will 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 keep the words of patience, and especially with the pushing of this car, if I can even see a child, he will say, well, see me, like this other cast aside, you know, it's right, it's still, this is what we are pushing, this is what we are being pushed for. And this is uh, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, And I will stand upon my rocks and set upon the tower, and I will rise and see what I should answer unto me. What I should answer unto me. Habakkuk 2, verse 2. It says, And I didn't know them. This is Habakkuk 2, verse 2. It says, And I will answer and say, For I commission make a plan upon the table, that he may run and read it. For he that runs and read it, and I will speak unto the children of Israel, and what's his place? Habakkuk 2, verse 3, for the vision shall be for the time, but a man shall speak, not lying to every week, or because of the truth comes to his terror. Right now, there's a bit of a sentence that sounds like time. As uh, Habakkuk, of our four mark, has mentioned. And this is uh, the book of Amos 8, verse 11. Yeah, this is the book of uh, Amos 8, verse 11. It reads, it says, uh, Behold, the days come, said Behold, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, the first of water, but the hearing of the words of Behold. Right, so it's going to be a modern day family word, or like bread, or like water, but the heavenly other words are heavenly prophet Howard. So these are the modern days of uh, Amos, and, uh, and it's going to be in the modern days of a uh, family word, or like bread, or like water, that uh, the prophets of old uh, spoke to the children of Israel said it's going to be a family of land during their times in the days of Amos, in the days of the prophets of old. You know, they told the Israelites they didn't take, take, they didn't take eat to it, so it was a family of land. It was a family of word, and it was a uh, family of uh, a family of word for like bread, or like water. That's what's going to happen in these uh, modern day times. This is uh, Amos 8 and verse 12. It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea from the north, even to the east. And they shall run to the world and seek the words of the shall run. Right, so it is our modern day times. That's the days of the verses all. It is our modern day biblical signs of the time of time of heaven called shoulders. So many shall run to the world and try to seek the words of heaven called the power shall run. This is the times of the times. This is uh, Amos 8 verse 13. It says, In that day shall fair person young man and fair person. Uh, and this is uh, the book of Got this is uh, Daniel chapter 12 verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which stand for the children of thy people, our husband Israelites. It says, There shall be a time of trouble, the time for about approach, such as never was since there was a nation. Even to the same time, at that time, that people should be delivered from this time. And if one will, we shall be found written in the book. This is uh, Daniel 12, verse uh, 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall wait to everlasting life. So the same everlasting temple. This is uh, Daniel 12, verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the world. They that turn many to righteousness as the stars of heaven and everything. This is uh, Prophet Daniel 12, verse 4. Without more things shall the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and now shall increase. Right, so many shall run to and fro, and now shall increase in these other times. And the Michael Archangel have to stand up for the children of our people in other very serious times and probably put the history into it. This is Daniel chapter, I mean, not Daniel, so I This is a prophet Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 1. And the word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh saying, Jeremiah 30, verse 2, thus speaking the words of Yahweh in Israel, saying, Write all these words that I have spoken these things in the book of the Israelites. This is uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 3. Well, it says, For oh, Lord, the days come. Say, I will, I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel. You will say, I will, I will cause it to return to me, which I get to that far flesh of the Israelites, the Lord of Israelites. Jeremiah 30, verse 4. These are the words that Yahweh was speaking concerning Israel, concerning the Jews, and the Israelites. Jeremiah 30, verse 5. For thus said, I will, we had heard the voice of the children of the fear of the so I will rock side that we say when the time of trouble once it comes into our world, and this is the time it's about to introduce it.
So we get to that Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. And this is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. So every day there is a season and a time for every purpose of heaven. Because we're living in a modern day time, it's a season and every purpose of heaven. You know, these are biblical signs and signs of times. All these are four people and pestles that we say in our world. Ecclesiastes goes through verse 2. It says, that time to be born, that time to be I.E., that time to plant, that time to pluck up their roots. Ecclesiastes goes through chapter 3, verse 3, it reads, and a time to pay high and ill, and a time to heal, and a time to break down, and a time to heal. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 4, and a time to weep, and a time to laugh, and a time to mourn, and a time to pray. Ecclesiastes goes through verse 5. It says, and a time to ask their souls, and a time to travel to us together, and a time to embrace, and a time to pray from embracing. And this is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 6, and it reads, And it's time to get, and it's time to lose, and it's time to keep, and it's time to cast away. And this is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 7, it reads, It says, And it's time to pray, and it's time to sow, and it's time to decide, and it's time to speak. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 8, And it's time to love, and it's time to H-A-T-E, and it's time to war, and it's time to peace. Our spirit that part, uh, the end of times, especially the you know, two categories of the uh, WR, the WAR, and this is a uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 1 verse 9. The thing that has been is that what should be, and that which is done, that what should be done, there is no new thing in science. Right, so that's not new thing in science. Just like all biblical, uh, biblical science is taking place during those times, now this is taking place in modern times. So scripture says, you know, there's no new thing in science. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 1 verse 10. It says, Is there anything where boy may be said? See, this is new. It happened already of all time, which was before us. Why so it happened uh, once before, and this happened once again. You know, these uh, modern day biblical signs and signs of time, just like the question of verse 9. And this is a shallow one, brother. At least he asked this one verse 11. It says, uh, There is no remembrance of former things, neither should be any remembrance of things that are to come, and that should come at time. Now, this is a uh, minor. Yeah, I'm going to get into that uh, second edges. As we continue to measure the time, diligence and stuff to the best of our ability. So we're going to continue to be in that spirit of uh, prophesying in this great country and great kingdoms of our poor evil and pestilence. This is 2nd uh, Edges. 2nd Edges chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure not the time diligently in itself, thou say as a parcel of the science past, which I had told before. Why? Right, so we're going to continue to uh, measure the time diligently in itself to the best of our ability. You know, sound the alarm going to trump us and whatever. Of these uh, modern day biblical signs and signs of the times that have not showed us that he spoke about from the days of before the evil of the end. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 2. It says, Then thou shalt understand that it is a very same time for in the highest which the heaven father out will begin to visit the war which he made. All right, so we're going to be seeing that uh, visitation from the heaven father and how himself. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 3. It says, uh, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, uproars be the world. All right, so increasing earthquakes, increasing uproars be the world. The scripture says, uh, Luke 21, verse 25, the scripture of the nations will reflect the seas of Israel and the uh, earthquakes of Babylon's places as well, too. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 4. Then thou shalt understand that the most high and how spake of these things from the days of the before the evil of the end. Before I said, Heavenly Father spoke of these very important signs from the days of the before the evil of the end. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 5. It says, uh, like all that is made in the world, and the beginning and his evidence, like is being manifested by these uh, signs and terms of the end. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 6. It says, uh, in the silver times, also the highest, which is the heavenly father, I will have claimed again and again to be a the works and any effects of signs. Right, so he said, uh, how the works and any effects of signs for the heavenly father, I will Second Edges 9, verse 7. It says, uh, everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith we have to leave. Why so for our works and our faith we have to leave us this way. Uh, second Andrew chapter 9 verse 8 Shall he preserve and say a You shall see my salvation in my land But then my words while I have sanctified them From evil and getting right unto the Israelites So out of all rocks uh, That we be saved That we be saved and preserved And say a prayer was the times about to enter into it Second Andrew chapter 9 verse 9 Then shall they be in purification Which they have abused my ways right? They have abused the righteous ways of heaven Father. They have passed them away For us to this day Shall the world torment Second Edges 9 verse 10, it's such as in the life they have received any good sign and have my own right to see the righteous man of Israel, the Father, the last one, and the Lord, and the Second Edges chapter 9 verse 11, and they that have broken the law, and it's the law of the man of Israel, and the law of the man of Israel, as when they have the physical repentance, just open up to them, and the Lord, Second Edges chapter 9 verse 11, it says, the same as the Lord, and 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 the Lord, and
They say it's like one shit over to the one city of 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 one this is uh, the burden of Egypt. Behold, and I will write the bundles for a while. Shall come into Egypt, and the heart of Egypt shall move at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall met the midst of him. Right, not a spiritual Egypt. Isaiah, because uh, Isaiah 66, verse 15 through verse 16, you know, the chariots, the chariots of the heavy water. It's like a whirlwind. Uh, Psalm 68, verse 17. This is uh, Isaiah 19, verse 2. It says, uh, When I was set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, they shall fight everyone against his brother, everyone against his neighbor. City against city, kingdom against kingdom. Right, because uh, North America represents modern day spiritual Egypt. Because you got the obelisks and the uh, Egyptian symbols, the pyramids and stuff like that. Old man Las Vegas, down in Dallas, down in Washington. That shows you that this is a uh, modern day uh, spiritual Egypt, you know. Uh, Miss Rai, the house of bondage. It says, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. They shall fight everyone against his brother. Everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. And this is uh, the book of Saint. Uh, so you know, 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 three. Know, three. Know, it know. says that he called them to him to say it in Arabic. It says, now I can't say that, so say Saint say Mark chapter 3, verse 34. It says, uh, and if a kingdom be divided, to sell that kingdom to stay in Right, so if a kingdom be divided, to sell that kingdom to stay in it. Saint Mark chapter 3, verse 35. It says, that if a house be divided, to sell that house to stay in Why so house is being divided, to sell that house to stay in it. Kingdom be divided, to sell that kingdom to stay in it's uh, St. Mark chapter 3, verse 26. And if Satan rise up against himself, he divides the kingdom to stand to have a king. That's what I'm saying. This is a book of Luke 12. Yeah, this is a uh, book This is a book of Luke 12. It says, uh, suppose you that I don't know this book of Luke 12. Alright, so that's what we're saying. Great commission. Luke 12, verse 22. It says, for the best for the best for Luke 12, verse 53. The father shall be divided against the son, the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, and the mother in law against the daughter in law, and the daughter in law against the mother in law by great divisions among the nations within their own household back and struggle. This is uh, Luke 12, verse 52. Uh, it says, Luke 12, verse 54. And he said, Also to the people who you see a cloud rise up, spray with the same word. It says, Saying, Here come to the south, so it is. Uh, Luke 12, verse 55. It says, And when you see the south wind blow, you say, He can come to pass. Luke 12, verse 56. He hear Christians discern the face of the sky and the earth. And how Jacob did at certain times, right? Like the other sign of the times. What the scripture says, uh, God, this world, I'm not the last to be there, which I'm going to eat. That shows you that we're living in the uh, modern days of uh, no people eating and drinking or to marriage. The scripture says, uh, first, that's the only way they shall sell peace and safety. It says, uh, but as the days of Noah, so, so, so shall also come in the sun of be. That's the way they're going to have the days of Noah. So also shall the son of man be, because it's the Mashiach, our child. And this is uh, Matthew 24, verse 38. It says, for as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and giving to marriage. Until the day that Noah into the ark. Right, so we're living in uh, modern days of uh, Noah. You know, modern days of, uh, you know, modern days of people are eating and drinking and giving to marriage. So we're living in the modern days of uh, Noah. Modern days of Noah spiritually. Matthew 24, verse uh, 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all the way. So shall also of the coming of the Son of Man be, which is Hamashiach, our child. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 40. Then shall be two in the field once you've taken them up level. Matthew 24, verse 41, it says, uh, Two women shall be running at the mill, but one shall be taken at the other left. Matthew 24, verse 42, watch therefore, for you know not what hour, your how will that power come. All right, so that's why I continue to be on our watch, to sound your mom going to trouble. Uh, uh, continue to make mission of the Heavenly Father until he establishes to make Jerusalem the praise of the earth. Because you know the day of the Heavenly Father is my hand, and he should come as deep in the night as well, too. Matthew 24, verse 43. But no this that did the good man of the house, that known and what watch. If a thief would come, he would have watch. And he would have he, he would have not suffered his house to be broken up. Matthew 
after he's 24, verse 44. It says, therefore, be ye also ready with such an hour as you think not the Son of Man coming. Like, come on, Shaq, have a shot. Matthew 24, verse 45. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 45. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom your hour has made in the world all the time? So, he said, give him even new season. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 46. Blessed is that servant, whom your hour will be finished upon. Every day, every Maybe you can scroll to every other day. Yeah. 
and this is uh, Ephesians 6 and verse 10. It says, uh, Finding my brother, right? This it says, Finding my brother, be strong in Yahweh, and the power is mine. Right? So, continue to be strong in the body, Yahweh, and the power is mine. Ephesians 6 and verse 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you be able to withstand against the process of the sea. Right? So, you got to continue to put on the whole armor of Yahweh so you withstand against the process of the sea. Because ultimately, the sea is going to come down and break right? We're going to have a short time for these last days. Feed, like I said, the broken place of 12 verse 12, as I quoted that scripture. Feed in 6 verse 12, for we grasp not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the rulers and the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Right, and spiritual wickedness in high places in the United States. Feed in 6 verse 13, it says, What can I take on to you the whole arm of the house? Right, so you got to take the whole arm of the house. So I'll be able to withstand the house. So I'll be able to withstand the evil state. Ephesians 6 verse 13. It says, Wherefore, it says, Take on to you the whole arm of your house, that you be able to withstand the evil day and then all to stand. Right, so continue to put the whole arm of the house and the body of the house. So you be able to withstand the evil day and have done all to stand. Ephesians 6 verse 14. It says, Therefore, have your arms stirred up without the truth, having on the first bit of righteousness. This is Ephesians uh, 6 verse 15. It says that you're free soon with the preparation of gospel peace, right? The preparation of gospel peace of the Alba Shadow and Shadow takes us his rights. Uh, Ephesians 6 verse 16, the moment all take the ship of faith, for we you should be able to quench all the fire of the gospel wicked. So be able to quench all the fire of the gospel wicked, because he's a uh, fire of the gospel wicked is going to be increasing uh, in his last days. So we got to continue to put on the ship of faith, for we should be able to quench all the fire of the gospel wicked. Uh, Ephesians 6 and verse 17, it says, in taking the uh, hymn of salvation, and so the spirit which is the word of God. Right, so we got to continue to uh, have on the heaven, uh, this, uh, have the heaven of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the heaven, which is the heaven of the heaven, that pertains to us, this one. Ephesians 6 and verse 18, and we pray always in all prayer, right, we got to continue to pray always in all prayer, especially in these last days, as the days of the evil. It says in the spirit, and watch their bonds for all preservations and supplications for all saints. Rocks the saints are the uh, his might. This is us. And this is uh Yeah, this is uh, the prophet Isaiah chapter 55. We got the prophet Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. And it says, uh, seek ye and how will he be found and call the money on the table? So as his Elijah, we gotta seek the heavy part and how call the money on the tear of heaven and show to people. Isaiah 55 verse 7. It says, Let the wicked forsake his way, and not the rest of the man's helpless. Let him return unto your house, for you have a person coming again to his house. For he will not depart. So, let's return to my evil ways, and turn back to the ways of righteousness. And I will rock side that the devil will not depart. 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 And this is the prophet Isaiah. Yeah, this is the prophet Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation and the fear of the heavenly father, how is God in the church? Right, so wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and the increase of strength of salvation and the fear of the heavenly father, how is God in the house of church? You know, that pertains to the uh, children of Israel and the Israelites. And this is uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 12, verse 1. It says, uh, Remember now thy creator, by the true creator of heaven and father, so uh, how will that pertain to the children of Israel? We got to return back unto him. It says, uh, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come now. Nor the year shall I will die, shall I say, have the first minute. Easy as it was, slow verse 2. It says, While the sun, nor the moon, nor the stars, nor the earth, nor the clouds will turn out the rain. Easy as it was, slow verse 2. It says, In the day when the keepers of the house are troubled, and the strong man shall bow themselves, and the grind will cease because they are few, and those that look like one in the dark. Easy as it was, slow verse 4. And the door should be shut in the streets when that sound of the wine is heard. And he shall rise up because of the glory, and all the books of the earth shall fall over. And he has to discover verse 13. Let us see the conclusion of the whole matter, being how we keep his commandments, and that's the whole good man. For us, we got to be the head of God, and how we turn our hands in, and keep his commandments, and that's the whole good man, and takes the other spots. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 14. It says, I am sure we can get a word from the church. And they are a What do we do? What do we do? This is, uh, yeah, we're going to have the, uh, the scripture that we're the And this is, uh, Prophet Isaiah, that verse 10. It says, uh, in that day there should be a, a group of Jesse, like we are the group of Jesse of our forefathers. Uh, in, the, in that day there should be a group of Jesse, which should stand for the end zone, the people should the Gentiles see. And his rush should be glorious. Isaiah, that verse 11. 
it says this year come to pass indeed that Yahweh shall set his hand uh, the second time again to help the remnant of his people because the Israelites which shall be left from Syria and from Egypt and from Mapos and from Cush and from Elam and from Shalmar and Hamon from the islands of the sea. So these are the areas that we've been scattered as still to this day. The uh, northern kingdom and the southern kingdom says the book of Hosea 1 verse 10 Israel shall be as the same of the sea. This is uh, Isaiah 1 verse 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed Judah from the four corners of the earth. Brought the outcasts of Israel and dispersed the Judah from the four corners of the earth. He's coming back to restore the remnant of his own people across the Israelites, men, women, and children. Isaiah 11, verse 13, the envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not face Ephraim. Right, so Ephraim and Judah is not going to envy the next one of them. Uh, next one of them more angry. And Isaiah said, next day. Isaiah 11, verse 14, they shall fly from the shoulders of the Philistines towards the west. They shall spoil the mother east together. They shall let it end from Ephraim, and Judah, 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 so with that, I'm going to uh, so with that, I'm going to close it out with the spirit of progress and mercy of the highway out of once again. Now here on this, uh, I would say Monday, yeah, Monday, yeah, Monday noon slash afternoon of this October 21st, uh, 2024, downtown Chicago, on the highways and heads to the GPS Concourse. So, Roddy Havashi, my shot is always on the campus about the early angles, doing the uh, Elvis Wahakia, we say the Roddy Havashi, my shot today, and uh, Barack Obama to the uh, Elvis Wahakia, uh, uh, the, uh, the Roddy Havashi, my shot to the uh, Elvis Wahakia as well, too. As we can see, lifting up the names of Yahweh Yamsha. So, with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to. In the uh, Heavenly Father, true name is uh, Yahweh. In the Son of the Son, Mahashem, in the name of Mashak Yamsha. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Nashwa Kanasa of the Tongue. And I say, Barak of Thumbs, and the uh, Elders of Akwa. Until next time, I'll say, Kwame Yashwa, and the Wall of the Wall, uh, Shabbat.